Hey, good morning. Dr. Fabian Garcia here, owner of Fabian Garcia Physical Therapy with my assistant, Marissa Tio, FRC Mobility Specialist. So, part of our intermediate lecture, uh, intermediate lower extremity series, is that we're gonna be going over a hip mobilization and engages a whole posterior chain. So we call this a posterior chain hurdle. The analogy is that you're gonna actually be clearing your hip over a high hurdle so what Marissa's gonna do is first, me asking me to set her up properly. She's face down, feet dorsiflex, always kind of imitate a semi-closed chain squat position. And we're gonna always emphasize irradiation first. Marissa's gonna start generating force from the rest of her body. She's gonna take a breath in, exhale out, and start squeezing her lats, draw her abdominals in nice and tight, squeeze her glutes, her hammies, down tension through her toes. Now what she's going to do is that she's going to bend her knee so we really have this as our unit. Anatomical reference point, the knee. She's gonna lift her knee up and rotate it over to clear the hurdle on the left side. Nice, slow and controlled, and then come back. This is a modification off of the morning hip cars. So as a result, what we really wanna do is actually break up the movement. Now she's gonna hit this one. She's gonna break up the movement into what I consider the harder portion that, because you really have to build up posterior tissue endurance. So there's two different ways to actually prescribe this movement right here. She's doing outstanding. You could just see the rest of her body quivering. That's a lot of tension that's overriding into this whole posterior chain to again generate more force, access the fascia and the joint a little bit better. Number one, I personally, when I start this, start off with a miserable process of working my way up to 15 reps on each side. Slow and nice and smooth is the best way to re-educate motion, to re-educate learning, to disassociate learning, and to re-educate learning. Miserable, miserable, slow work is the move right there. As we get stronger, of course, we're gonna follow your traditional FID or frequency intensity duration so at some point, I'll slap on two and a half cuff weights, two and a half pound cuff weights, five, sevens, tens. And then as the intensity goes up, the duration of the exercise or the reps go down. So I always start off with just tension. 15 of these build up to 15. And once we have 15, I might start off then with five pound cuff weights and then work my way back down to four to six reps. This is gonna be her last one. Cramping in the glute me, the whole gluteal area, very common, but again, work our way through that area right there by manipulating our breathing. That was flawless. Thank you very much for your time.